Welcome back to Card Market, where we watch Toffle sleep. Don't be so loud. Welcome to one of my favorites. This is gonna be awesome because we took new cards from Dominaria United and put them into Pioneer decks and see how they go. Yeah, and I'm excited to get into the games, but we do have one thing, actually two things to remind you of before we get into the games. First things first, you know it, he knows it, I know it, everyone knows it. Please subscribe because subscriptions really help us out on the channel to show everyone that, you know, this is worth it. It's like the main measure that we take to, you know, uh, determine success. And secondly, activate two-factor authentication on your card market account because it does keep your account safe. Like, it's so easy, it's a no-brainer. You don't even need to activate it for uh, all the, every login, just when you check out or if you withdraw money because that protects your money. It's your money. And two-factor authentication makes it so it stays that way. All right, that's, that's angry Jamin out of the way. Now, get into the games. The deck I'm playing today is Blue Red Phoenix, and the new card that I want to try out in Phoenix is Founding the Third Path. It's a saga for two mana, and for the first chapter you can cast an instant or sorcery spell that costs one or two mana without casting its mana cost. The second chapter lets you mill four cards, and the third chapter lets you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard, but you do have to pay the mana cost. So you can actually skip any of the first two things and go directly into the third chapter. That's what read ahead means on the card. That might be very relevant if you want to have an extra turn right away when you cast the saga. But you can also start with milling four if you don't have something you cast from your hand. But also if you just play it on turn two, you can cast something, then mill four and then cast something out of your graveyard, which hits exactly turn four to bring back some of the phoenixes when you've cast something from your graveyard. Well, I can see that maybe it's a little bit too much of a mana issue as you have to cast the, the saga in the same turn when you want to copy something but i can also see it having enormous value milling four cards gets you closer to phoenix it fuels your graveyard for the treasure code and the trespass and it has quite some flexibility so i think it, it's definitely worth a try one of the top decks in pioneer right now is red black midrange and i mean what better deck to fit a Liliana of the Veil into? So Liliana of the Veil is like the hottest spoiler of Dominaria United so far. And Black Red Midrange is like the best deck in Pioneer right now. So how about we put those two together and build a super deck? Um, besides the Neo Liliana, Red Black also gets an upgrade in its mana base with Sulphur Springs uh, replacing some of the pathways and you know, just smoothing out the mana base a bit. And then I'm also trying out to cut down. The card seems okay, but it does miss on some of the, you know, bigger threats, literally the bigger cards. So I'm not entirely certain, but that's why I'm playing it today. And then finally, there's also Balduvian Atrocity, which is a three mana, two, three mana, it's not very impressive, but when you kick it for one red, you get to reanimate any creature card from your graveyard, costing three or less. It gets haste and then it gets sacrificed at end of turn. In my opinion, there are some juicy targets in this decklist like Graveyard Trespasser. Trespasser is especially nice against decks that rely on the graveyard because you can get it back, exile one card, and then attack, exiling a second card. Who knows? Maybe it'll come in to be relevant. That's the cards I want to try out. Tuffle. Jamin. Do you have a companion? Because I have... No. I don't need a companion. Yeah, me neither. I'm here on my own. <laughs> are you sure? I am. Are you sure? Oh, but uh, you have to be home at 11, so we can't. <laughs> High roll? Yes, sir. Good luck beating that. Impressive. That's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I start. You start. You know how I never say uh, good luck because I don't want my opponents to be lucky? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll... Oh, wait. I'm not going first. You're going first. I'm going first. Yes. This hand is outstanding. Mine is fine too. My first hand is great. We have the Saga, so we can try that out. And it also has some neat form of fixing your hands, like you can Treasure Cruise and Ledger Shredder. So it's a good keep. So this hand is a bit slow. It doesn't have a Thoughtseize. And on turn two, it only plays Croxa. But even though slow out of the gates, there's a Liliana on turn three or a Graveyard Trespasser if I need it. Um, I'm going to keep it and hope, you know, that my draws kind of fix things together. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna play a Dampfschlote tap. All right, Steam Vents, my turn. I'll play a tap, Castle Lock Swing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Draw. Um, I'm gonna play a 
Turmklippenkanal. I actually have the decision of playing the Saga or playing the Shredder and then waiting a turn. Obviously, if I play Shredder, it could die, but I think the Saga on four with my hand doesn't give me enough that I want to just play it out now. So I can play it out on turn later, get the loot from the Shredder, and then maybe flashback something on turn five. And boringly, just play a match. I'll enter, draw, I'll cast, I'll play Den of the Bugbear, and then mm -hmm. I guess that Ledger Shredder is fine for now, because I'm just gonna evoke Croxa. No, I'm not gonna evoke it. I'm just playing it. Mm -hmm. Trigger. Well, it's kind of evoking, right? Would it be really weird to discard the card we're playing? I'm gonna discard Founding of the Third Path, the card I'm trying out, and so far it was outstanding. <laughs> it was a really good experience. I mean, that's it for this episode. Check back <laughs> next week when we pair new creatures against Doomblade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, draw. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, you take one. All right, down to 19, first blood. Nice. Nine steep. And then we're gonna play the saga. Oh. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. So far, A plus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which allows me to cast a spell for one or two from my hand. I will put it on one because I actually didn't read ahead. We'll see what happens. All right. And I play a charter cost. All right. So that's like mana neutral and a saga on top. And before this triggers, like resolves, my that's, hand shitters. That's a sick interaction, actually. I right? love that. All right. So we're gonna. Shredder some ledgers. I'll discard an opt, which gives it a counter. All right. And then we're gonna draw two. Cool, cool. And then for my next trick, I'm gonna play a tapped restoration. I'll untap. Take my draw. Let's see. I'll play a haunted ridge, which enters untapped because I control two other lands. And I think now is as good of a time as ever to show off one of those brand new Ooh. card. Wait, Jamin, that's a very old card, you say. <laughs> no, I'm, not I'm ready to discard. <laughs> I'm not gonna dis uh. make this discard. So now you get to feel the wrath of Liliana. Sacrifice a creature. Mm, to be fair, people tried putting me with Liliana between some trophies and they did not succeed. Go ahead. All right, draw. Trigger, I mill four. That's the worst card ever printed. Oh, that's no phoenix. My plan here is to discard the phoenixes, find a land and then cast the third spell to get the phoenix back. So I think that's better as we see a lot of cards with treasure crews to find that land. Uh, and if I do, it's just gonna be game. I, I actually have the funeral deck is kind of broken like this, but you know, not my problem. <laughs> um, we're gonna opt. Sure. You see how broken that is? It's a very broken card. Yeah, why not? Can't be that bad. Then we're gonna draw it. All right. Around exiling seven. Draw one, two, three. I feel like my discard plan isn't that well suited against the treasure cruises of the world. Oh. Now we're actually very sad. Okay, we didn't find a land, which is really annoying. We could now kill Lily with the spike field hazard, but I think I'm actually fine with Lily sticking around because like the creatures I'm sacrificing are not that like valuable. If I get a Phoenix back, okay, I can still kill Lily once I reanimate Phoenix in the same turn. And I actually do have that much card draw that I want Lily to discard for both of us. Yeah. And since we unfortunately didn't draw a land that comes untapped, we'll consider. All right. I'm gonna put that in the graveyard and then draw. Ooh, interesting stuff. Oh, that's four hunters. And then I'm gonna play a tapped spy field hazard. Okay. And it's your turn. I will start the turn off by plusing Liliana, I think. Yeah, that one discards this. All right. I'm gonna discard an Acton Fenister. The old Ledger Shredder. So, and then I'm gonna cast a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Because that one seems solid. Reasonable. So this one, I, I'm, I also had to bring a Saga. They, I don't know, they legally required me to or something. Yes. Uh, our beautiful card market goblins are one ones. 
Um, but this one is a 2-2. And then I'll have to just pass the turn. Mm, I'm gonna draw and then trigger Saga. And we're gonna target the consider. All right. Unfortunately, it's not very flashy, but I don't need to touch it. So that goes there. We're gonna try the course. All right. Shoop. Shoop. A phoenix. Surprise. Big surprise. And then we're gonna treasure cruise. Wait, so you need a treasure cruise after all? Da -da -da. Seven. Seven. Conveniently leaving all things. One, two, three. Consider. All right. Okay. Mm. Uh, Would see. you like to attack me, maybe? Ooh, no. <laughs> all right. And then I have eight cards. Oh, that's unfortunate, Tuffle. Mm. I have to discard one. Go. All right. I'll untap. I'll take my draw. And so with that card being drawn, the Fable goes to two, and I may discard up to two cards. So I'll discard this Blood Tithe Harvester and the Haunted Ridge mm -hmm. to draw two cards to other cards instead. Attack with my little treasure goblin. 18. And I gain a treasure out of that. Not using my treasure, I'll play a graveyard trespasser, mm -hmm. which exiles a card from any graveyard. I'll choose your phoenix. And because it's a creature, you lose one life, I gain one life. So you go to 17, I go to back to 20. Mm -hmm. And I'll play a tap land to finish it all off. Go ahead. So hateful. Draw. Yes. Um, I'm gonna try something. There might be a, an argument to do this, but I feel like I want to do something else. Right. So, we're gonna cast... I mean, it's reasonable, right? We didn't hit any of the things. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast Piece of the Pump. Okay. So we reveal five cards, and we take two instants of sorcery spells. Well, that, Naturally, else. Okay, treasure cruise and temporal mastery. Trespass. Okay, we're gonna attack. All right, down to 17 I go. Tap land. All right. And discard a card. Here you go. All right, uh, I, I don't hate that. <laughs> Weirdly oh. enough, I feel like I got away with something here. Uh, I'll take my draw. Yes. And then this fable. Ticks up to three and is transformed into the reflection of Kiki Jiki. All right, this turn is hopefully gonna be devastating for Toffel. Um, I've got Thoughtseize lined up with the treasures. I can cast Croxa, I can cast Cut Down on a Phoenix to exile it with the Trespasser. There's a bunch going on, but I'm gonna play Thoughtseize first and react to Toffel's decision. And honestly, Toffel, I feel like with you being up to something here, mm. I, I have to, you know, know what's going on here. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is the kind of thing that's going on here. I might have to have had plans. Um, I'm gonna take the Temporal Trespass because a bunch of extra turns are very scary. You shall not trespass. You shall not trespass that. That's my motto. Um, All right, I'm gonna take this. You will. Can I do anything more? I, I can, actually. I'll sacrifice the treasure mm -hmm. and get back this Croxa for you to discard. That's bait. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna discard the pathway. All right. Go to 14. Down to 14 you go. Mm. I'll play another Haunted Ridge. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. And I'm gonna cut down that Phoenix. Phoenix. Ooh. No, no, the bait was anti-bait. The bait was anti-bait. Anti I, no. I, was, I was ready either way. I got anti-baited. Um, and I'll hit you for five exiling the Phoenix, making it six total, and I go back up to 18. I go to eight. 
And you go to 16, yes. All right, I've got one treasure and a dream. Go ahead. Uh, I hope this is not the saga. If this is the saga, I'm very sad. Okay, that's actually... With other removing going on and the Croxa, I think I kind of have to switch my plan here in killing in one turn. And it's not that far away. If we go for iteration into trespass, making two turns, we can bring back the Phoenix a lot of times. And if we just get back three Phoenixes, we can probably set up a kill in, with the one extra turn or two. All right, um, let's tap three and do the good iteration cruise. To exile this, 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 and draw six. All right. Exile seven, draw six. That sounds like One, a fair exchange. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they were terrible. Since I'm drawing all of the phoenixes and not getting them to my graveyard, I actually do have a plan, and it's kind of involves using the trespassers water billing into my advantage. I have to discard one card once I target it. My plan is to actually target it multiple times so I can get rid of all the phoenixes before I have to actually kill it. One card. A single card in my hand. But it's a good one. Um, we're gonna start off with a Ledger Shredder, which unfortunately did what it did. And then we're gonna lightning this one. All right. So the trigger, yeah, poor trigger, poor trigger. And we're gonna play a land tapped and be a coward. <laughs> be a coward. <laughs> I'll untap for my turn. Yes. And I'll take my draw. I think I just have to pressure a bunch here. I'm gonna cast a Balduvian Atrocity with Kicker, which it's a 2 or 3 with Menace, all right, that's not too impressive. But if I kick it, I get to return a creature card with mana value 3 or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste and I have to sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Okay. So I'm going to return this uh, Graveyard Trespasser, which unfortunately it doesn't, doesn't have any creatures to exile to mm -hmm. deal damage, but it does have that juicy iteration to exile. And then I'm going to pay one tap this reflection of Kiki Jiki, um, copying the, the Trespasser. And then I'm gonna head into combat. Mm -hmm. So all of these swing your way and I gain another treasure token. And a Croxa trigger onto the stack. I'll take the two Trespasses. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll take the two trespasses. Extra turns are scary. That is terrible. So I have to discard, right? Uh, yeah. Two trespassers, right? Two trespassers. Both are 3-3 three, three with... Um, what a good new card you had there. What a good new card I had there. All right. I feel like there's not much really happening, but we're going to block like this. Uh, oh, yeah. I have to discard for... Uh, this for Croxa. Gonna be trash. And then we're gonna take six and go two. So these trade. These trade. These bounce off. Yes. And I'm fine with that exchange. So mm. this one gets exiled the token. Yeah, and the other one. And dies. the other one gets sacrificed. Alright. Go ahead. Beautiful. Easy game. Draw. Saga. And with the saga, uh, we're gonna iterate, triggering this. Okay, one. yeah. Discarding island for the shredder. And then this result, the yep. saga comes and plays lightning axe. So this enters on three? Yes, enters on three uh, and goes yeah. away. We discard a land and destroy this and this. All right, and both are dead. And we get phoenixes back. And we do not want to die to menace. Attack. Sure, I'll take that down to 15. And it's your turn. All right, I'll untap. 
and I will draw. So here I'm faced with the decision of whether to animate the den of the bugbear or the eye. Now, animating the eye seems very attractive because it doesn't have menace, but Toffle has a red mana open. There's no way he doesn't have some sort of removal spell. So for now, I'm gonna animate the weaker one in my opinion because the 1-1 one -one token isn't lethal. So Toffle might mistakenly take one damage off the token, which I can follow up with the Trespasser to deal the final point of damage. If Toffle doesn't do that, somehow this den of the bugbear is gonna grow, go into my graveyard. And once it's in my graveyard, you know what I can do, I can reanimate Croxa. So anyway, this plays out, I'm ready for it. I'm gonna activate this Den of the, the Den of the Bugbear, yeah. <laughs> and I'd like to head to attacks. Mm. I accept. You accept? All right, let's head into the red zone. A bunch of tokens incoming. We've got a treasure. We've got a 1-1 one -one goblin that's attacking you. Yes. I would like to block. Sure. Uh, this. Like this? No, we're gonna like this. All right, so that dies. These trade, this one simply dies. No more goblins for me. And you stay at two. Yeah. And then you've got one card in hand? One. Uh, I'll play Sulphur Springs. Uh, I take one because I do have to. 14. 14. Um, and then I sacrifice three treasures to bring back Croxa, Titan of Death's Hunger, because that one proved fairly good so far. Yes. And then um, this makes you discard. And then that's your turn. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have given you the treasure. Probably not. All right, let's go. How lucky am I? All right, all right. We have to keep that. Uh, trigger? Yeah, trigger. So you just mill and the <laughs> death. <laughs> well, attack. Okay. All right, ballsy, ballsy. Uh, down to 10. Not be afraid. May I untap? So I have many spells. <laughs> you have many spells in your head <laughs> post combat. <laughs> go. I'll untap. I, I saved my Phoenix so it doesn't go back. Um, may may I head into the red zone? No. Oh, damn it. All right. Um, attack with Crocs. <laughs> I feel like I've been duped by all the movies. Yes. Um, Yay! For sideboarding, I dislike Bone Crusher Giant, so I take out all of those. And I also trim on Liliana and Dreadboar because both are kind of awkward to interact with Tuffle's recursion of the Phoenixes. Instead, I bring in two Go Blanks and two Unlicensed Hearses because those just ravage over Toffled's Graveyard. And Toffled's Graveyard is not only relevant for the Phoenixes, also all the Delve spells get significantly weaker that way. In addition to that, I also bring an Extinction Event because Toffled's Threat are almost all even costed, you know, um, Ledger Shredder, Arclight Phoenix, and it even exiles the Phoenixes. So maybe we can get that sweet four for one with the Phoenixes. Okay, sideboarding is not too difficult. Playing against Parties and Lily and Croxa and whatever of those discards. I don't want Lightning Axe in my deck, even though they kill some of the annoying parts, but I still have the fiery impulses. On the other end, I bring in two Sahinis, one Pyromancer and one Jace, just to have a different angle of attacking the game. If I play those spells, hopefully I can a little bit ignore my graveyard once it gets too tough, make all the tokens, or maybe even win with Jace if I'm almost to get decked. So I, it's not big, but it's at least something. All right, Toffle, what side do you want? Uh, I mean, Free card. No. Okay. All right. So I get that free card, huh? Take it. Take it or leave it. Uh, yeah, that works. The hand is fine. I, I have nothing to complain about. I can go Saga into Charter Cores, fill my graveyard, and hopefully by turn four, I have the ability to reanimate some of my Phoenix Six using Treasure Cruises and Trespasses. This hand, once again, no turn one play, but it has the strongest turn two play there can be. Uh, unlicensed Hearse. Getting that down early is so crucial because it can start pecking away at the graveyard. It's gonna be really hard for Toffle to even build up any graveyard to cast a Temporal Trespass or a Treasure Crew. All right, yeah, same, same. Got it. It's tapped Steam Vents. All right, yeah, all right, I'll follow suit. Uh, Bloodcrypt. It's not a Steam Vents. You're not. <laughs> True. Um, 
we're gonna play a saga on one and cast charter course. Oh. Chip, chip. And discard an island. And it's oh. you. I'll untap. I'll take my draw. I'll cast an unlicensed hearse. Oh no, hearse is so brutal. Let you move to your draw step. All right, uh, untap. So I kind of have to overload my graveyard and use whatever I can as long as I can because I can't keep up with putting so many cards in the draw grave. trigger. Yep, so you mill four. You may, might also mill me. I mill four. Yeah. One, two, three. Four. I'm gonna play land and cast charter course. I'm gonna cut it short. I'm gonna exile the phoenix and the consider. Gone. Gone. Draw two. One. Two. Discard one. A treasure cruise. All right. And that's my turn. All right. I'll untap. I'll upkeep. And I will take my draw. I'll play another sulfur springs. And I'm gonna cast a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Another card that was really useful last game. Yeah. So here I'm just gonna pass the turn to Toffle. If Toffle wants to recast a Treasure Cruise, I can in response to the trigger, target two other cards exiling them. Then he can't pay for the Dell for Treasure Cruise, so that one gets exiled for free. And if he wants to card, cast a Charter Course, I feel that's slow enough for me to not really care about the free spell he's getting. Draw. I'm gonna target a charter course. Um, I feel like if you want to spend two mana on drawing two cards and discarding one, you might as well do that. So yeah, sure. We're just gonna let that happen, and then we're just cruising. Yeah, that makes sense. Chip, chip, chip. Okay. Play an island and cast a. Order. Okay. And it's your turn. All right, I'll exile that cruise and take my turn. Mm -hmm. So this fable takes up to two. I get to discard two cards and draw two replacement ones. Yeah, I'll discard these two swamps mm -hmm. and then draw one, two. Pretty good deal. Yeah, very good deal actually. Um, play Haunted Ridge. Cut down the Ledger Shredder. And I'm also gonna play Graveyard Trespasser, exiling the Shredder. So you go to 19, I go to 21. And then this Goblin is heading into the red zone. So down to 17. Yep. And treasure for me. Yay. Go ahead. The crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. Draw. Beautiful. Uh, we're gonna cast a young pyromancer. Okay. And play a spike field tapped, which was already flipped because I played the last turn. And it's your turn. My turn, eh? Your turn, eh? I won't exile cards out of my own graveyard at end of turn, and will instead go to my draw step, where afterwards this fable flips. Mm -hmm. I'd like to destroy this young pyromancer and lose two life in the process. All right, consider making a token. Yep. Which freshly appeared. So I'm afraid you don't get it. <laughs> uh, I will make a second token burning the goblin. Hmm. All right. And we just, yeah. yeah, you've got two elementals. Um, yeah, that happens. Environment that dies, you go to 19. Combat with my 2 2 goblin and my graveyard trespasser, the trespasser exiling the phoenix. So I go to 20 and you go to 16. Yeah, I double block this one. All right, so all of our tokens trade. But first, I also get another treasure. And then since I have cast a spell anyways already, I will make it to two by casting a Blood Tithe Harvester. 
who mm -hmm. brings a blood token along with him. Beautiful. Go ahead. Draw. And iteration. Okay. And then uh, pieces. So we have two pieces. Uh, yeah. Two pieces in the puzzle. That's a bunch of cards. One, two, three, four, five. I'll take those two. Fire impulse and treasure cruise. One, two, three, four, five. I'll take it out. And the rest goes in. I will play a land on red. And impulse this one. The trespasser, so you're gonna have to discard an additional card. Yep. I'm gonna discard the trespasser. Alright, uh, so the trespasser dies to the discarded trespass. <laughs> Beautiful. And at end of turn, I'll exile the phoenix and the iteration from your graveyard. Alright, Toffle's tapped out. Let's get in there. I'll untap. Also, we have to move these over here. No, no, they're fine there. Mm -hmm. They're okay. Taking the draw. I'm sorry, Toffle. You're really not. I'm, I'm really not. That's <laughs> that's a point. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll make it even worse because I only play one card in this deck. It's a single card deck. I'll play a Trespasser. Mm -hmm. I'll exile the Trespass because those cards just, I don't know. You care about it more than actually triggering the thing? I, I think so. All right. It's gone. And then... I'll head into the red zone with the Blood Tide Harvester. Number 10. Go ahead. It's gonna be real tough. Three mana. Yeah. What? Three mana? What could that be? A Ledger Shredder. Wait, that's two mana though. I know. And then... Trigger! All right. I guess you first have to pay though. No, I'm not paying. <laughs> <laughs> can make some J's and fire into this. Seven cards. Trigger. Yep. Yeah, that goes away. No That's a land, though. No power up for the shredder. Yeah. And then we're gonna draw three. One, two, three. All right. I'm gonna take two. <laughs> all right. All eight. right. Down to eight. And play a, another. Okay. Sure. And it's your turn. It's my turn, huh? And you've got three cards in hand. Three cards. At end of turn, I'll eat the treasure cruise and the piece of the puzzle, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, when, when you're at eight life and this is seven cards, I'm not going to let that fly. It doesn't fly. It doesn't. There's seven cards. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to let this fly. <laughs> like, I promise you, promised right now, it will not gain flying. So if I gain, give it flying, do you concede? Uh, no. It's time to look at the goods, Tafel. Wow, that's rude. <laughs> I mean, could have bought me dinner first. I'm gonna opt. Okay. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I, wow, I actually have to take that Phoenix. All right, but I guess... It's also kind of... Oh, in you favorite. fell into my trap. Yeah, I did. No, I actually shouldn't cast the second yeah! spell. <laughs> oh, I, that, was, that almost would have been really bad. If, if I cast the second spell, the Ledger Shredder, uh, that, that could have been terrible. I'm going to activate this land. I'm going to sacrifice these tokens. Mm -hmm. Activate the land. Mm -hmm. uh, then I can crew the... Curse, and then head into the red zone. Mm -hmm. So there's two triggers. Uh, this one exiles the phoenix, and then this one exiles the seven to twenty-one. All right, I'll block the hearse. Yeah, go to one. Yeah. I need a miracle to get out of this, and I'm not quite sure what it is. So go ahead. So you say there's a chance. There is a chance, Tafel. Okay, I think everything needs to start. Lining up like a second spell. With a consider or something. Yeah. All right. We're up. <laughs> it's an opt. All right. All right. We're opting. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna not take it. All right, then we're considering. And then there's a trigger. trigger. Okay, 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 okay. Throw this, all right. So then we consider. Sure, go for it. Yeah, that goes away. And then we draw. So, uh, we play an Ottawa. Playing the Ottawa, all right. Yes. And it's your turn. It's my turn? Yes. Double. <laughs> Are you mad? Well, at you. Yes. <laughs> I think there's still like an 0.5% chance that we have a shot at winning. <laughs> Um, like, we have a chance of having a chance. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if this is ruining all the chances, but I, I'd like to dread more the Metal Shredder. I will... Five mana tafel? Yes. It's a, a very elaborated thing. We're gonna cast iteration okay. and then flashback iteration. Okay, so you get two iterations? Yes, to trigger... Yeah. Oh! And right. with the fiery impulse, you get a bunch of fiery impulses. Yeah, but it, I mean, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna discard the land. This is exiled, and this dies to dread. All right. The, your next spell, it's gonna, it's gonna explode. Um, mm -hmm. I will pre-combat take one of the springs down to twenty. Uh, cast a blood type harvester again, generating another blood token. Obviously. And that harvester is going to crew the hearse, and I'd like to move to combat. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Do that. I'll attack. Good games. Jesus, magic is hard. Magic is hard. Tafel. Chairman. Your hearse is ready for you to take you away. Yes. I, I feel. I feel like work, you know. I, I even for you, I even licensed this one. Like the one that's waiting for you is oh. all official. But it's very unflavorful. Yeah, no, it's it's very licensed. It's got a steady driver instead of just taking whichever drivers on the battlefield. <laughs> like, I mean, also if you're a graveyard trespasser, it just makes natural sense. You have an unlicensed. Herd. <laughs> A grave. Every graveyard trespasser should have an unlicensed hearse. They they went into overtime like there is no tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so if you want to beat Phoenix, play those cards, I guess. If you want to watch more of our content, subscribe because that keeps this channel going. And if you want to see more of us too, then you know there's a playlist with all of these videos. Yeah. Yes. Many in from the past or if you are very good by subscribing writing in the comments in the future yeah you like you will get notified about future videos so with that being said we'll see you in the next one